Hello and welcome to the lecture series of data compression. I am Neha Shukla, Assistant Professor, Kite Group of Institutions. Today we will be discussing about the Markov model and composite source model. So moving forward, what is Markov models? How do we go ahead with the Markov model things? And what are the limitations and issues regarding the Markov models? Why it is used and what is composite source model? So if I talk about the Markov model, we can say that we have also heard about these of the models. What is Markov model? Markov model is actually used to tell about the specific type of dependence. It is used to represent the ways of dependence in the data through the use of Markov model. We are doing that, but how one specific data is dependent on the other data and how it is used to predict the very next state. It is based on the Russian mathematician. It was invented by him. It is Andrei Andreevich Markov. For models in lossless compression, we use a specific type of Markov process, which is known as discrete time Markov chain. As we will move forward, we will discuss about this. And next is, let's suppose we take a sequence of, there are sequence of observations. This sequence is said to be as kth order Markov model as it is written over here it is kth order Markov model okay and this is represented with the form of this which is a conditional probability we will be discussing later all the values taken by the sets which is in the form of x n minus 1 to x n minus k are called as states of the process we will be discussing it with the help of an example and if the size of the source alphabet is l then the number of states will be l to the power k the very first model of Markov model, very first order will be in the form of this. And as we move forward, we can take an example of how do we use Markov model. We can say Markov model is a kth order model. We can uh, describe the first order model, the second order model and so on and so forth. So if I talk about what Markov model would do, it will actually tell you the very next prediction of the alphabet or the letter or the prediction of the very next upcoming thing on the basis of the previous thing it has seen okay so it means it is it is given as an input the previous uh, pattern is given as an input and it predicts the next output for that matter okay so for models used in lossless compression we use discrete time mark of chain and let's suppose we take an example of binary image we are taking an example of binary image if i talk about binary image it will have either a white color or a black color will be there so what is the condition what is the probability that the this particular thing is white then this particular thing will be white or black we need to calculate the probability based on this as we have already learned in the probability model earlier itself we will be thinking about the probability in this case also so if the image has two pixels white pixels and the black pixels we know that the appearance of a white pixel as the next observation depends upon the previous one to a, to a certain extent because it will have an influence the previous one will or the previous preceding one will always have an influence on the upcoming one okay so therefore we can model the pixel process as a discrete time markov chain markov chain in the sense that we will be making our this thing let's suppose we take an example of this is a burger, this is pizza, and this is hot dog, we can say. Okay, so if I, if for that matter, we say that there is a restaurant which basically sells one day a burger, okay, next day it will sell a pizza, then next day maybe a hot dog or something. So there is a chain called, there is a thing like, if it will be selling burger, it won't be selling hot dog or the pizza. Or if it will be selling pizza, it won't be selling burger or the hot dog. So there is a chance and probability that if today it is selling burger, then the next day could be pizza or the hot dog. So how do we calculate their frequencies or their probabilities? By basis of like the conditional probabilities are being calculated. PB would be calculated like the probability for burger being served, probability for pizza being served, probability for hot dog being served then what do we do we will actually calculate a transparency transition matrix or we can say dependency matrix on the basis of burger to burger pizza and hot dog and pizza and hot dog on the basis of these we will be calculating the next values which is telling the probability of a certain food item to be served on that particular day 
okay so for that matter we will be taking this example of binary image how do we calculate the entropy on that particular thing and how do we calculate that this particular image or this particular pixel would be black or white we define this transition probabilities as p w by b and p b by w and the probability of being in each state would be p s w n s b so when we talk about the entropy of the model the entropy of a finite state process with si is simply the average of each and every multiples okay p s i into h of s i each and every entropy at particular level to states this will be the total entropy of a finite state model so when we take an example of this is very important questions this is very important because as per the aqt this always comes in the question paper uh, define the two state markov model for binary images so for uh, using this particular example you can actually explain the markov model chain so if i talk about this thing we have two states the white state and the black state and the probability of black being black and probability of white being white and interchangeable also like black with white and white with black okay so for particular example of binary image we can say that the entropy of white could be calculated by this particular formula where probability of white with the white would be 1 minus p of b by white okay this conditional probability i am just assuming that you people might be aware of these things so that is why we are just telling it that entropy could be calculated by this particular method next thing if i have to check that the effect of the modeling on the estimate of entropy so what do we do we will calculate the entropy for binary image to check whether the next element is white or black we would be calculating a whole lot of calculation would be done then we will be identifying this thing first using a simple probability model then using the finite state model described above as we have learnt in the previous image so let us assume the following values which is there like the probability of sw the state of white would be 30 by 31 for the black would be 1 by 31 and we have calculated these all probability values then the entropy using a probability model and the iid assumption would be this particular formula which we have discussed in the previous slide so using the markov model what did we get we get this that the probability of black and probability of white would be this would be 0.881 and this would be 0.081 so as we can see the entropy for a particular element has been given and we have already learned this thing in the probability model itself that whichever will get the higher probability will be chosen so on the basis of this what will we get that if the pre uh, previous particular word was white or the pixel was white then the next could be black based on the entropy it is being gi gi given okay so this is all we have in the markov model next thing is what are the issues in markov model so as we can see that the entropy is totally dependent on the previous element and one more thing is there we can talk about two order model the first order model will be if i have to predict whether the tomorrow what is the weather for the tomorrow okay let's suppose we have three weathers rainy sunny and stormy or we can say snowy model is there snowy weather is there so if i say ki uh, today is sunny what will be the probability for tomorrow being rainy or snowy okay so that will totally depend on today's particular performance what was today's weather so if it is totally depend on the present if the tomorrow is dependent only on present then it would be called as first order markov model but if it is pre it is dependent if the tomorrow is dependent on present and the previous model itself then we can say it as two order or the second order markov model chain okay is that clear if it is dependent only on the one preceding value then we can say it as one first order markov model or if it is dependent on the previous two of the things then it can be called as second order markov model so when we go through the markov model we actually what are we saying we are saying that it will be dependent on the shortest previous things or the preceding elements or the preceding alphabets but if i go only for the preceding alphabets what about the rest of the letters we have rest of the alphabets we have in the text so there we can counter a problem of zero frequency problem what is that zero frequency problem that we will often encounter certain symbols which are new to the system 
which are very new to the system let's suppose there was uh, not there was a colored image and a sequence would be coming like black white red black white red black white red and certainly uh, within us like suddenly a green comes up so green is not familiar to the previous particular pattern so that will create a problem of zero frequency problem because it was not it was never being encountered earlier so there is a problem of zero frequency problem the larger the context will be more of the problem will be happening like this for that matter we can say we have multiple solutions but this time we are only proposing ppm prediction with partial match match algorithm is there which we will be learning in the further units so that is encountered and that will be carried as a overhead and this is the solution for the this particular overhead zero frequency problem so this was for markov model next we will come to composite source model if i talk about composite source model it is very easy model it is basically it is a hybrid model in many application we cannot particularly provide only one model which is useful for each and every situation so in this matter we will be using composite source model for every particular state there will be a particular model associated with it okay so if one situation is there one particular model will be proposed for that if second situation is there we will be proposing a model for that as well and they will collectively work together as a combination or a composition of several sources okay with only one source being active at one particular time it's not like every other source is working with their models no one source will be acting with one model at a one particular time and part, uh, this particular composite source can be represented as a number of individual sources with individual model and a switch that selects a source with probability pi like source has been given we will calculate the probability for a particular model to be chosen by that and then we will combine those things and we will propose a model or propose a outcome based on that okay so this is a particular diagram which is stating like switch is being given that this particular model will be chosen okay so this was all for today which is the markov model and the composite source model i hope you have understood these all things thank you so much